I have to admit, my favorite types of mysteries are the found footage type. The idea of investigating someone's capture is something that I have an interest in doing, but I'm not completely sure that's the case here. The Paris Catacombs footage tells the story of a mysterious person exploring the catacombs underneath the city of Paris, holding a camera as he makes his way to the darkness. The man doesn't appear to have any sort of personality, he does not talk, does not show his face, and does not provide the viewers with any information about his recording or about what he's up to. At some point during the footage, the man starts walking faster and faster as he assumes he lost his way to the maze of the catacombs. He starts freaking out and begins running faster and faster. Before the end of the footage, he drops the camera and is never seen again. And all of a sudden, he drops the camera. He just dropped it. The camera just drops on the ground and keeps rolling. And you see his feet just run away. And it keeps rolling until it runs out of tape. Now, I am uncertain if this is the full experience of the footage, because the original recording is not available on the internet for any of us to watch. The only place where the footage is shown is during a documentary made by a filmmaker named Francis Friedland. Francis Friedland claims the footage was given to him by a team of explorers who found it while venturing inside the catacombs. In the catacombs, it was picked up by a catacomb explorer, some of the people who wandered down there. It was given to me, I looked at the tape, it's very bizarre. He goes on to examine the recording and then decides to head inside the catacombs in order to solve the mystery. He and his team of explorers head under the city of Paris and inside the catacombs but end up with no results of the missing person. And that's when everything suddenly ends. No other searching for the man, no police reports. It's like he simply vanished. So a lot of people were left wondering if the footage is true and if someone did lose his way to, to the catacombs and eventually dropped dead. Now, I'm going to examine the documentary and work with everything we've got so far, but since we don't have the original footage, there is going to be some speculation here. Personally, I believe the whole footage is a hoax made with the sole purpose of bringing attention and entertainment towards the documentary. I don't have any solid proof for this, but there are a bunch of mistakes that I spotted while examining the whole video. First of all, there is literally no information about the man behind the camera. Why doesn't he talk during his investigation? We assume that the footage is the only file on the camera that could lead us to the man, so this made me question, why isn't there anything else on the man's camera except for what he found inside the catacombs? And why didn't he record his way inside the catacombs? This way he could have easily found his way back, but it seems like the recording starts when he's already inside. Another interesting fact is that we don't know anything about the explorers that found the footage. I don't know, it just seems so scripted that a team of explorers found this recording and decided to just give it to Francis, a filmmaker, so that he can use it for his documentary. At some point during the documentary, Francis claims that going inside the catacombs is illegal. How do you get into the catacombs? Illegally, of course, uh, and the idea is to find uh, an entrance. The problem is that the authorities keep shutting him down. Apparently, Lizar has found a new way to get in, but it's way out uh, from the center of town. It's actually on the edge of the city, through the railroad tracks, uh, for about a mile. So this brings a new series of questions. If it's illegal, why would you record yourself voluntarily doing a crime and upload it on the internet? But it's not exactly illegal, because there's a horror movie titled As Above So Below that was filmed inside the catacombs. And they even used the exact same entrance that Francis used. And, uh, he could still be down there. Maybe he found his way out. Nobody knows. We'll, we'll try to solve the mystery if we can. There are 200 miles of tunnels right underneath our feet. They're holding the remains of six million corpses. I also want to mention that this whole documentary is part of the TV show called Scariest Places on Earth. So, by claiming that what he's doing is illegal, Francis is kind of exposing himself. Yes, it might be illegal to go down there without any approval, but since this is part of a large-scale TV show, I highly doubt that's the case. ...labyrinth of tunnels deep beneath the city of Paris. Paris, France. 
Near the end of the video, Francis and his team notice a white figure drawn on the walls that could also be spotted in the footage he found. I think I saw this on the tape. This, this figure with the arms outstretched, the legs outstretched. And then I think after this, the camera turns right. Nothing out of the ordinary, but wait a second, why did they have to find their way towards this area by themselves if someone else had already been there when they found the camera? If Francis was so determined to solve the mystery, he would have simply asked the explorers that found the camera to help him retrace the way towards this part of the catacombs, however, he makes it look like he found his way towards this place by himself. So they didn't have to do this. It would have been much easier to get there and just start the search from this place on, but this all happens near the end of the documentary, so doesn't this seem just a little bit out of place? What's also interesting is the fact that we can't find the original footage anywhere else and there were no missing person reports, but even examining the fragments of the footage could bring some answers. Look at this shot. After dropping the camera, the screen starts acting out. Now, I'm no special effect expert, but it seems kinda odd that the camera would start acting this way after it was simply dropped. A cracked screen would be more likely in this case. So if Francis was so determined to solve this mystery, why didn't he bring the footage to the authorities? Once again, there is no proof that this is fake, but if we examine all the details and put them together, you can kinda see that there isn't much logic behind most of these claims, and that it is in fact just a hoax made for a TV show. I'm gonna leave it to you to decide if this is real or not though. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon. This is the gate to hell. involved in this. It's very tough. If we didn't solve the mystery. I don't think anyone ever will. There's too many, too many, too many miles of, of fucking tunnels in there.